So Wildcat at Haven has been up till now a West Coast based project. We've found some incredible cats there, we've neutered hundreds of domestic cats in the environment and we've created the first safe haven for Scottish wildcats in Scotland. However, I kept getting contacted by this guy in Aberdeenshire about these amazing cats in the Clash and Derrick. And I was sceptical at first because the East Highlands is heavily keepered, there's a lot of people around. But then he sent me a video. And I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was a Pelage Perfect Scottish wildcat. So obviously we can't ignore this. We can't pretend it doesn't exist. So then we started to give the people on the ground more cameras and more field work time and we found 13 of the best looking wildcats in Scotland. These animals are Pelage Perfect. 13 Scottish wildcats, that's over a third of the remaining population. It's absolutely priceless. This population will form the basis, can form the breeding nucleus to save the Scottish wildcat from extinction. The Clendaric Forest is absolutely unique. It contains the highest density of Scottish wildcats anywhere in Scotland. This is not just a piece of plantation forest. It also contains incredible wildlife such as goshawks, hen harriers, pine martins, otters, badgers, all these beautiful protected species are in this forest. But its location is also unique. It's not surrounded by farmland. It's very remote. There's not domestic cats all over the environment. It's a unique situation for a unique population of wildcats. We've been working on this population for three years now and we've found that the primary threat is logging. You know, Huge areas are being clear felled, devastating the wildcat's home. Apparently, Scotch Wildcat Action and the Forestry Commission have surveyed these areas for wildcats and wildcat dens before any felling activity, activity takes place. However, they have clearly missed the wildcats we have found. We go into the forest and there are signs of wildcats everywhere. The last time I went in personally, I found a meeting point of what must be three wildcat territories. Less than 100 yards away, there was a pile of freshly felled trees. How are these signs being missed? We're not anti-forestry, we're, we're pro-forestry. It's created this habitat for wildcats. However, the Clash and Derrick is so important for wildcats. We need to protect this area. Other plantation forests that don't contain wildcats, that don't contain goshawks, of course they can be utilised for the purpose they were planted for. But the Clash and Derrick is too important. We cannot just clear fell it for toilet roll, for wind farms, for timber for construction. There's plenty of other plantation forests all over Scotland. Let's use them rather than this incredibly precious home for the last wildcats in Scotland. These animals have dense sites, they're territorial, they're very prone to disturbance. If you have ever seen a forest being harvested, there's huge machines massive amounts of noise, access roads, to an animal, to a wildcat in particular, it must be terrifying. And for people to say, disturbance doesn't matter, or this is part of forest management. But every wildcat kitten is absolutely priceless, and we cannot risk one of them being lost through disturbance. To clear fell, to do any logging activity during the breeding season, which doesn't just include the mating, but all the way through from February to September, where these cats are rearing the priceless kittens, it should be a no-go zone for forestry operations. This, these animals are so important.